Well, we are back, everyone. It didn't take too long, but we found finally uh, an audish. We are going to ca try catching it. Hopefully, we don't get a uh, critical. Okay. Well, sorry, I just wasted your time <laughs> trying to catch this audish. <laughs> I just one shot at it. I underestimated the power of. Yeah, Bonnie's a dinosaur. <laughs> oh man, this is the. You know how long I. Well, I didn't wait too long. I cut the recording and immediately I counted a pretty good. Um, Audish. So it's kinda disappointing. So I will keep that in mind in the future. <laughs> to not one shot the enemy Pokemon that quickly. Well, we c I can. Tr uh, try out and seeing how much damage I do to an average PG in the world and I think Mega Punch does one shot this one so probably not using Mega Punch to weaken a wild Pokemon in this area yet so here's another Oddish but he's level 13, he will have just absorbed. We don't want that, we're going to burn it down. And got another critical hit. Well, what's gonna go next? Well, this may be some nice experimentation until we get what we want, so... I should check out if there are even level 17 Pidgeys in this area at all. Did I really catch one? I was uh, I'm sure uh, uh, 100% I had a uh, level 17 PG because I didn't know what levels are back then until someone pointed it out. I didn't know what these numbers mean. Especially the stats numbers. I never looked at them. I didn't know what they stand for until generation 3 and onwards when I started uh, trying to figure out what Pokemon are really good at s against the Battle Frontier and such. Like, it was natural that I taught everyone Hyper Beam that can learn it in Generation 3 in Emerald thanks to the clone glitch. How much does it do to this monkey? And it's one shotting it. Maybe it was in another area. Right? Does PG. Can I catch PG in that other area? I'm not sure. Should we explore a little further before we go on? Well, let's do that. I'm actually curious what... I don't remember exactly what Pokemon were in that area. So... Let's find out. We will defeat some trainers on the way and take their lunch money. This recording is supposed to be how I amazingly catch that level 15 Oddish. And I ended up with disappointment. I hope we don't have to look at Barney Zidana for too long because I really don't like him. We can't get past this trainer without. Yeah. Yes, as I expected. She has an Oddish, level 18. <coughs> I can't believe how often I misspoke. I'm misspeaking. It shows that I need what I think isn't the same, but I'm spouting out. It's easier to write than to speak your mind. 
maybe that's why because I worked so much on the PC and that things that shall not be mentioned forcing us to stay home for so long but hopefully we're going to recover from that issue slowly and like that we defeated the trainer and found the TM for teleport teleport is a pretty useless move especially this early in the game it has just one use and that is if you want to use the new glitch and you are too lazy to catch uh, an opera which may be for the better because opera is a pain in the ass to catch and what does it have or just teleport until you evolve it then he doesn't but there are some really fun things you can do and I'm really excited this is Venom Man uh, Venom Venonet. I wanted to own that too back then you couldn't catch it in these areas and it bugged me literally next you know I think it would be fun to explore these areas beat every trainer we can and keep spamming the new glitch on them and see what Pokemon they trigger but you'll be up for that just asking so the word Pokemon here are Spiro so probably not the Pokemon we want so we eliminate that I'm just looking at a few encounters and then we are going to move back I don't think there is any PG here The tired bird really looks like it's saying a really, really nigger. Oh, it also has Atkins. And if I remember, it also has Voltorb. I'm not going to... T <laughs> I'm not going to battle Atkins. So let's move back. it's a nice shortcut here so Pidgeys and Spearows are never in the same area so keep that in mind it seems we can't get past this dude without an encounter so let's talk to him how are you? I'm fine what about you? And what does this junior trainer have? It's a grow wild. Level 21. He is what a fancy Pokemon trainer. Where did you get the dog? I used to think grow wild was a tiger Pokemon in the anime. And when I found out it's just a dog, I was really disappointed. What a waste. Didn't look like a dog to me in the anime. Oh, it's another best moon. Dude has some good taste, I won't deny it. But his charm met. There is no match for me. And we go on. Oh, guess we can't get past this trainer either. It's probably another back poor catcher. And he has a freaking breed Beedrill, one of the worst fully evolved Pokemon in the game. Let's burn its corpse down. And gain another level. Slash. 
this is magnificent because slash is the move we will always have and we're going to get rid of mega punch it's one of the best moves in the game since it's always crit so we don't even need to boost what's happening here it's Rattata I didn't even know there are encounters in this area maybe it's an extension from the other area we were before The Pokemon here have decent levels, uh, I think. Yeah, it's just an extension. And where there's a spear, usually there aren't any Pidgeys. So we can get away from here and let ducks cut that tree down. Nicely done. Sorry for backtracking back and forth all the time. But <laughs> I wish I could speed it up for you. But now you're going to suffer. Like I am. I choose to suffer and you don't have a choice. Well I spam the A button in case we find something nice in this boring area and look at that we found an egg special not very useful for us but maybe we can make use of it so I guess <laughs> is this a level 15 yes I have to be real careful now and I have a good idea right now look at this I switch to Chad Runner, who is quite less of a level, and we will just water gun it. Water gun sure won't kill it, I hope, even with the crit. This one has poison powder, so it's better than your average Oddish you can get in this area. So two moves are better than one. Uses absorb to heal its health. We wet it a little. I think this is more than enough. Pokeball, go! One, two, three. And Oddish has been caught. The question is what I call it. Uh, struggling hmm. I don't want to call it wheat we already did that we don't call it high we already did that we don't call it evenly we already did that It's evol final evolution is wild bloom. It's first evolution is blue gloom, uh, so I will call it bloom. Let's take a look at bloom. It has two moves, but yes, this is it. Let's teach it cut, and then the it cut to the box I 
I hope you have had fun in your re this recording session. I my I think I will grind all this like I did back then by mistake, and perhaps I can catch um some some new friends. We don't want to deposit the Pokeball. We need the Pokeball. We deposit the Helix just for now. And we will deposit HM1 because we already have some deposit ducks that far fetched. And we will heal up and end this recording session. Thank you everyone for your attention. And I will see you next time.